Joining us on the phone from Huntington, Long Island, with more on the Dubai fallout from a currency perspective, Win Thin, the senior currency strategist at Brown Brothers Harriman. Uh, Win, thanks for your time today. Obviously, with some concerns around the globe over equities, we saw some interest in the dollar. It has not been the theme uh, always of late. Uh, give us your sense on uh, the currency reaction to this Dubai development. Uh, sure. I mean, I think the, the, really the big impact uh, of the Dubai news was, was, in a sense, I think magnified by the severe position skew. That is, everyone in the grandmother is basically in short dollars, long EM, long um, equities, long uh, risk assets. And this is sort of a gut check. Now, my, I have to say, I, you know, uh, the way things are playing out, I, I, I fall in the camp that it's not going to be a big contagion. I think that EM, okay. you know, what happens in Dubai shouldn't affect what happens in Brazil or Korea or the stronger credits in emerging markets. But you're basically saying unwinding is what happened What, what happened here today. Yeah, we're seeing some profit taking, absolutely, and that's a risk going forward. As, as your previous guest pointed out, we are going in the year end. There may be some more profit taking, unwinding, but my feeling is that if it happens now, that means in Q1, I think that these guys are just going to pile back into it and start the year off, you know, at, at better levels to start off. You know, I mean, the fundamentals remain very strong in EM. It's a pretty compelling case for, you know, 90% of EM. Obviously, euro, dollar is an important currency pair. What was interesting ahead of Thanksgiving was that there were some people suggesting you might see the euro push well past that 150 level because there'd be thinner volume, and then all of a sudden these developments occur, and then you see people piling back into the dollar. How did that influence the trading over the last couple of days? Well, I mean, under, underlying everything, I think, is still a negative dollar bias. Again, the, the interest rate differentials are just against the dollar right now. It's the premier funding currency, more so than the yen, as you pointed out earlier in your, in your show. And so right now, I'm viewing this move uh, below 150 as sort of a blip. You know, obviously very unexpected, in a sense, uh, and magnified move from, uh, as a re reaction to Dubai. But underlying, I think, the dollar negative story remains, uh, and that's unfortunate for uh, you know, for those who are uh, bullish dollars, I think that this this story uh, could continue for right. a, another several quarters. So, when walk us through what happens as we get set for next week. You know, we talked about how the equity traders will be checking the screen, seeing what's happening in Asia overnight on Sunday. What about in the currency markets? What will you be watching for? Well, it's, it's interesting that after, you know, selling, heavy selling yesterday of, of sort of the high yield or EM currency, they, they've actually stabilized today. Some of them are actually up. South African Rand is up on the day, Turkey, Mexico. So we're seeing some, some efforts at sort of maybe, you know, stabilization. But, you know, I think we need another day or two to see how this, the, the price action goes. Again, I, I, uh, I can't dispute the fact that we could see, you know, another wave of, of profit taking and, uh, you know, yeah. as, as an excuse. But I still like the EM story. I still think the emerging markets uh, have some good numbers coming out in the next several quarters. Now, right. I think the main thing is that this Dubai store will make investors a little bit more discerning. You know, I think the Baltic nations are still in problems. Obviously, Dubai is still in problems. But, you know, many other emerging market countries have a very compelling story. When so, uh, do oh, your homework. Only about 10 seconds less left. Uh, the relationship between stocks and currencies through the end of the year, it will stay strong? Yeah, it, it, that seems to be uh, the correlation remains pretty much in place. I think that's going to continue for the next uh, several months at least. Okay. Win Thin joining us on the phone. We appreciate your time. That's Win Thin, currency strategist with Brown Brother. Uh,